What do you truly desire? Ooh. Hi. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Lucifer Rat Season 5, Episode 7, I believe. And this one is titled Our Mojo. I'm so excited because, because it's been three weeks since I watched the last episode of Lucifer. So the way it ended, even then I knew that I wasn't going to be able to like watch it right away. And I was just devastated because it ended with Dan seeing Lucifer's devil face because of Michael. So good job, Michael. We see that he can still annoy us. <laughs> Let's just see what's going to happen. Also this, of course. They had the sexy time. Oh, oh hi. Hello. Was I snoring like a truck driver? You know what? Don't answer that, because I just remembered you don't lie. Are you cold? Cold? No. Why? Odd. Given that hell was the first phrase I ever. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I said that I wouldn't have sex with you until hell. Yes, yes, you think you're very funny. Oh, I know I'm very funny. <laughs> oh, come on. You must have some preference. What do you truly desire? Ooh. I... I want to have sex with you another four times. Six, actually. But... What? Did I just mojo you? I don't know. She kinda <laughs> did. <laughs> You're messing with me. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're messing with me. You are so silly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So silly, Lucifer. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> she mojoed uh, him for realsies. Breakfast burritos. Is that so? Oh. My boobs. I'm pumping. Wearable breast pumps. Best invention since the epidural. Oh my god. <laughs> the detective has mojo. She's so right. What? We had sex, and then this morning. Wow. Wait. You guys had sex? Finally! She can now do what I do. Expose people's desires. Nah, probably just I Lucifer's. No, Doctor! Why do you think I've come to see you? Do you think it's possible I've given my power to everyone I've ever had sex with and just never knew it? Lucifer. I don't have it. Or do I? I guess I've never tried. Well, let's try now. Come on. Lean in. Look into my eyes. Ask me what I desire. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Desire. No, no, they're totally limp. Ouch. It's just uh, Chloe. Several million bullets dodged. So it's just the detectives. Seven problem. million. Why does it have to be a problem? Because desire is my thing. Why do you think I have to be a desire is my thing. My mojo is the reason I'm useful to her in the first place. If she can do it too, what's my role in the partnership? Oh. Who even am I? Okay, so you don't think that you can share this with her and still be you? Oh, right. I am and always will be master of the mojo. Mm -hmm. King of desire. Yeah. Sultan of humans' innermost wishes. Excuse me. What is it desire? Still pumping. Pumping is a full-time job. Digger! So, did you... I was so ready to have my Decker Star Jones crushed again. Why? Because it's been one bummer after another with you two. I didn't want to get my hopes up. Yeah, you know. I mean, it has been... Say it again. Now, but... What have we got? Any witnesses or suspects on whom my uncanny interview skills are required, if you know what I mean? Uh, I actually have no information on the victim yet. Ella is, um, is... Ella, is uh, Dan here again? Oh, Ella Spinoza called in sick, I'm afraid. Oh, did they look in the mirror again? I told them not to do that. <laughs> Chloe laughed. <laughs> Excuse me. I wasn't. Hi, Detective Decker. Can we ask you a few questions? Sure. It must have been pretty irritating living right next door to a soprano. Learn from the master. Tell me, Norman Nomsky, what is it you desire? What? 
That's a weird thing to ask, man. I'm working. Detective, I think you stole my mojo. <laughs> Tell me, apart from a more pronounceable name, what do you desire? Is this about secret Santa? Because you're not supposed to ask people what they want. That, uh, that gives it away. Jeez. Santa. Jeez. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, I, I have a question. This. Unbelievable. Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe he's like overthinking it. Did you really lose your mojo? He's trying too hard. How's that possible? What do you desire? I want my mojo back. <gasps> oh my god. The, uh, it's real. It's You know what? If she took it and the transmitting way, transmittive way is sex, it just means that they always have to have sex twice. So that first time she takes it and then second time she gives it back. Always have sex twice. If you're going to have more sex than that, then always have an even number of sex even number of sex encounter you know <laughs> or maybe he doesn't reflect other people's desires anymore because chloe finally like he knows that chloe sees him for what he is so he, i don't know or the way uh, linda said that like in a relationship um you know try not to lose yourself and maybe he's just like overthinking it I don't know. I don't think he's overthinking the relationship at all. It's just that it freaked him out because he wants his mojo. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Hey, no, are you okay? Oh. Uh, the door. Oh, I scored these two VIP tickets to the Star Trek convention downtown. I, I have no idea if you're into it, but it's totally my thing. And I was wondering if you wanted to come with me. Star Trek, please. Miss Lopez knows more about that stuff than you ever could. That's Klingon, right? Star Trek is your thing. He's perfect. We can share. The 24th century is big enough for the both of us. See? I told him sharing's not that hard. Yeah, but he doesn't have it anymore. Excuse me. I'm just What do you desire? To tell you anything you want to know. Very good. What we want to know is why did you kill Diane Luna? Wait, uh, Diane is dead? The performance is over, Mario. We've seen your eggplant. We know you were having an affair with Diane. You think Niels is behind this? To be fair, we don't know Mario. That's why we're here. I miss you so much. Oh boy. So damn much, Charlotte. Don't do this to me. We fought so hard to be a better person. But the bad news is I don't think I'm going to be joining you. Um... <laughs> I need help. I just need help. Michael? Hmm. My twin brother hates me because I am his opposite. The good to his bad. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm the Archangel Michael. Michael. There is a way for you to right all your wrongs. A way for you to protect your loved ones. Fucking Michael. Lucifer. As fun as it is to watch you use my, I mean, our, but really my mojo, I'd like it back. So, let's have sex again, me on top this time. <laughs> Do you really think that's gonna work? As if your mojo is some sort of STD. <laughs> well, relationships are about give and take. Well, that's easy for you to say. Not so his mojo! I give and you take. So, couples therapy? When we've been a couple for what, five seconds? Never it's too early to start. Not what I meant. Okay, well, actually, I don't think Lucifer's being that ridiculous. 
You don't. The milk. Okay, it's not like we covered celestial powers in med school. Being a detective is a big part of your identity. It empowers you. Now imagine losing it. Okay, Lucifer's issues can sometimes seem outlandish, would be putting it mildly. But the one thing that I've learned <laughs> is that there's usually something buried underneath. Yes. Sometimes deep, deep, deep down. Linda's always so helpful. So Put it on. Means I really don't think this is a... <laughs> We used to have some good times here. Oh. So he's not with Linda. This isn't working. She's still hung up on I'm, I'm you. This is what I, need. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> Feeling powerless is no joke. I just think I'm so used to dismissing your crazy antics that I haven't been taking you seriously. A gun? Well, I like to call it our gun. <laughs> Don't worry, it's properly permitted. Oh, well, outlandish. <laughs> Our <laughs> if this is LAPD. LAPD. Ah, this must be about Diane. Would you like to use your newly acquired charms on this lovely chair? Oh, yes, I would. I just don't want to rub salt in your wound. Well, obviously, I'd love you to rub something else. But, uh, <laughs> we'll learn to share, aren't we? Hmm? Mm -hmm. What do you desire? For this to be over with, so I can go back to my photo shoot. <coughs> Say truly, desire. Truly. Yes. Is she having a stroke? I don't understand. Unless this means that you've lost it and I've got it again. Or well, step aside, Detective. <laughs> Nails. Is this the way you people solve crimes? <laughs> what the hell? Does it have to do with this guy? He seems like so, Neil's alibi checked out. Maybe he so has everything he no, no. desires already. Well, there's another thing. Remember Mario? Good. Try it again. Go on. Let's look at me. Well, he never lies. Of course, he's gonna tell her what he desires, right? What do you desire? Well, I guess we hear the little the sound of well, it stop. working. I'm sorry you're going through this, but we are gonna figure this out together. As a team, everything's gonna be okay. He's got his guard I down, maybe. Slashing vocal cords. Why would anybody do that? I don't know. Maybe uh, you wanted to take away their voice. No. Their power. He wants to take away their power. Elementary school teacher. You know she's transmitting knowledge, teaching young children. And he's picking up the pace. His cooling off period is shrinking. We're gonna catch him, Decker. Why are you so optimistic all of a sudden? Well, I, I talked to Pete. Yeah, and he said to stop focusing on what I got wrong and instead focus on what I can still get right. I can still help, Chloe. I can still help catch this killer before he hurts anybody else. I'm just so glad you found a good guy, Ella. Yeah, me too. It's just really nice to have He better be. Corner, you know? I don't know, he just makes me feel less powerless. Uh, Kukuza told me to do this. Let's go follow up, shall we? I could really use your help out there. How can I refuse? It was sweet. <laughs> Excuse me, do you use that ribbon on every bouquet? Hmm. The glitter. The glitter. No, this has to be our guy. Right. Well, the lilies were bought by a middle-aged man, unfortunately in paid in cash. But my new friend, Javita, remembers the time he came in and that she saw him leaving an Uber. Oof. That's lucky. Yesterday, you were, what, trying to rekindle what we had? Distract herself. Everyone's rejected me. And many of you. But I was the one who rejected you. So, I thought, mm. maybe that was a mistake. Maybe only 
An angel could love a soulless demon. Oh, Maze. Come such a long way, Maze. Grown so much. Yes. Apparently not enough. Hmm? Ever heard of a demon getting a soul? I can't say that I have. Let's do it. No one ever heard of an angel and a human having a baby before. Mm. Or of the devil falling in love. I don't know if a soul is what you need to feel whole. I do know this. If anyone is going to find what they're looking for, it's you as a king. Oh. Just look at your ass, though. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, that was such a good scene. Well, that bad as well. Okay, so. The shining much? Klumsky. Go ahead, let's get this bastard. Right. Aya! Purchased just a few hours ago. Damn, he really is a freaking creep. He's gonna strike again. That's spooky. I'm so sorry, we came straight from the convention. Uh. If there's, uh, thank you. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help, that um, ears. Great. So just scour this place for any clues you can find. Okay, let's go. Was he stealing animals too? All the like, uh, looking for. Pete, I found more pictures in here. A you know, more. come check it out. Like a uh, lost dog and everything. He has some uh, crates. Hey Pete, can you hand me my? Yeah, yeah. Chloe, I think that is his next victim. Look at the wallpaper. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Clearly very strong. They never was. That's why they never listen. They have to listen now. They have to listen now. Point with your eyes. <laughs> yes. We got him. We did it this far. Pete, I'm really sorry you had to see this. I just wish I didn't have to write about him. The killer? My editor has already come up with a catchy nickname for him. She wants to call him the Whisper Killer. I, I just hate contributing to the kind of BS that feeds these guys' egos. I got this. Hey, Tucker, can yeah. you sign off on these evidence logs? They're so cute. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't seem to like me very much. So if I did anything wrong, just tell me. Wrong? Well. On the contrary, it appears that you're doing everything right, at least when it comes to Miss Lopez. You ever get the feeling you're not good enough for someone? <laughs> okay, guess a guy like you wouldn't let her in and then she can judge for herself. <laughs> right? Right. You know what I've been thinking? Maybe it's okay that I don't really have much of a life outside of Charlie right now. He really needs me and... Being a dad, it, it's, it's the only thing I need. And that's not unhealthy. Is it? No. No, no of course not. Enjoy this phase while it lasts. No, I just mean if you and I do a good job, Charlie's going to need us less and less every day, you know? Okay, I'm off. Have a good night. It's just the way of life. Not right now. You still have a couple more years. But it's a good thing. The fact that I can mojo you. Maybe it means that I've just put a tiny dent in the giant wall that you've erected around yourself. I think perhaps for the first time ever, you're starting to open up to me. 
to let me in. Maybe he, maybe he can mojo her now. Maybe they can mojo each other. Wow. That's scary, isn't it? Damn. It's gonna shoot him. Only joking, Dan? Dan? What are you doing? Sorry, I have to. Stop. I'm not happy with you, Dan. But Obviously, Lucifer is not dying from a gunshot wound. That's just not happening. Mm. Knowing this show, there'll be some kind of explanation. Let's say that since he doesn't have his uh, mojo... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that would make it so... He's not... Okay, theory. You know how she just said that maybe he was starting to let his guard down. And you know how he's vulnerable around her. Sorry, this is crooked. And then he took, like, his whole drink. He, like, took a big, big sip. And I was gonna say, like, that must be scary. Like, he must be really scared right now. Or maybe he doesn't like it. Or he, he just feels scared what if he, that moment allowed him to put it right back up and that he's not vulnerable around her he's trying to make himself not vulnerable so he's not gonna bleed look as i'm saying this in my head i'm just like that's not it that's not what's gonna happen but i'm just trying to find or maybe he will like have a wound and he's just gonna like go to the hospital and get treated and he's I, I just know that he's not gonna die from this right I don't know like I said I'm not happy with you Dan but I kind of get it like that's one thing that I did not think about is you know how learning about the devil and everything being real it makes you think so much further than just like oh my god Lucifer is actually the devil that's so that's kind of cool or like that's terrifying it makes you think of like, okay, so hell is real. Have I been a good enough person to not end up in hell? And that's what happened to him. And he made him realize that when Amenadiel said that Charlotte was in heaven, he was like, oh, so, you know, I know that you're actually in heaven, like Amenadiel said. So that's the positive, but it makes me scared for me because, you know, he did some things, I guess, that could make him end up in hell I don't think he would go to hell obviously I don't know his whole life but I know that his you know mishap in the first season it was you know mostly because he was being blackmailed by Malcolm was it Malcolm was the bad guy Dan was just like making bad decisions but he was being blackmailed and that makes him scared for Chloe and then for Trixie and I guess for different reasons right because they're Chloe has a thing with Lucifer and he doesn't really know what it means. You know, Lucifer, is he bad? Is he ultimately the biggest evil? He doesn't know. He just wants his daughter and the mother of his child to be okay, I guess. And then enters Michael. Michael enters the picture and manipulates him, tells him that he's got, like, his redemption is possible. He just has to do this one little thing. This tiny little thing. Kill the devil. Why not? Am I right? It tracks. Kill the devil. He's evil. You kill him, no more evil. You go to heaven. So, being in the state of mind that he must be in, I... I understand. I'm just like not, yay, you go down. I just understand how, I guess, he... We got to this point. And seeing his face, like, he's probably sleep-deprived, uh, drunk, 
I don't know, just not in a good place. It makes me sad for him because his scene in the graveyard in front of uh, Charlotte's tombstone, headstone, that was sad. <laughs> there was some good acting too from him, so yeah. We also dealt with Lucifer and Chloe's relationship. He, she stole his mojo. Well, she didn't steal it, but she can mojo him. And she can't mojo, like, other people. Which, that's kind of what I thought, you know? Except from when she mojoed that guy, but it ended up not being mojo. Just him being a fan of hers. So, you know, it kind of made sense to me that, uh, okay, she it could work only on Lucifer because she makes him vulnerable. So, you know, him being vulnerable, like she said, wall down, and he's able to be mojoed in. Like we've been saying for a long time, he kind of, they can self-actualize, right? So him feeling that way makes something happen. So it's it's coming from him truly and she figured it out I think and she um told him and like I said this little reaction in his face it must be scary and you know maybe he was like oh my god like that's that's the first for me and that's terrifying which is understandable and Linda put it so well when she tried to explain to Chloe like if someone took your badge your gun your whole like shtick as a detective what makes you who you are not only that but it's a big part of who she is and she's proud of that makes her feel powerful what if someone took that away from you and gave it to lucifer and you have to watch him use it you know trying to explain the way lucifer was feeling and i think she did a great job and it made chloe realize you know so i think they're in a good place but now Lucifer has potentially, well, he's been shot. It's just like, I don't know where it's going to go from here. I wonder what the um, resolution of that will be, if he's injured or not, if he's injured and just like goes to the hospital. So I guess we'll see. But that was such a good episode. Everything about it, the maze, Amenadiel stuff, um, Amenadiel, like coming to terms with he, it's okay if you you're just focused on that like this human is still very tiny and he needs you you know he does so it's okay to just embrace that role and it's okay to just be that it just like how you feel about it you know he said I think that's what I need right now then good <laughs> you know if he felt like he was losing himself you see the way Linda was saying don't you miss cocktails don't you miss going out having adult conversations and stuff and he I guess he just he doesn't miss it he's content and happy just spending time with his son and that's fine and I'm glad that he realized that but then I guess he's worried for the future once this human does not need him or rely on him all that much but you know kids will always rely on their parents in some way I just think that it's it transforms throughout the years and it's always there's always something new a new like role or like some new wisdom that you can transmit so I guess um it can be scary like except that you know they don't need you as much but it's a part of life like we've all been through it it doesn't mean that we love our parents any less so I loved everything absolutely everything so that was really, really good. It was season five, episode seven, our mojo. And I'm so excited to see the uh, next episode, what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching.